All right, well, hello, good people of Bricksville. Glad to have you here today for the brand new unveiling of the uh, gigantic skyscraper for the orphans. Yes, right over here, construction is completely done. All I can say is I hope none of the orphans are afraid of heights, but realistically, I have been personally uh, assured that this skyscraper is completely safe for all manner of young, homeless Brick Riggsians. Uh, you gotta be freaking kidding me. Okay, is seriously no one thinking about the orphans? We're the only ones, aren't we? The last few... Wow. Alright, maybe... I don't know if that was like some crappy drywall or something, but maybe we should have redone this over again. Okay, that's it. Somebody's gonna pay for this. Hey, uh, uh, purple shirt Bob. Yes, great. Yeah, so, uh, remember when we had the choice to either pick researching renewable energy resources or, like, making another really, really big gun? Yes, great. I'm just double-checking, but we picked the big gun, right? We didn't, we weren't trying to be forward-thinking about the energy thing. We, we picked the gun. Yes, great. Whew, dodged the bullet on that one. Everyone keeps on telling me, they're like, oh, great, you need to do something besides... More big guns, wrong. Okay, look at what happens. Look at what happens. This is Bricksville. Okay, there's no oasis. There's no utopia. It's just fire and depression. Bring out the big gun. All right, uh, Farmer Bob, listen. I mean, I don't want to make you nervous or anything like that, but that's a lot of money you're driving right now. Okay, it was either this, or renewable energy and free bricks for everyone. We went with the giant cannon thing. So, thanks to your new training, uh, there's four buttons on this one, okay? It, it's not just one button, there's four. Gray, I don't know about this. You're gonna be fine, listen, you ever, you ever enable the cheat menu in one of those video games, you know, like left up, down, up, A, B, A, B, that sort of thing, it's the same thing, all right? Just, you'll be fine. Just look at the instruction manual on the left-hand side of the console. Talking about Farmer Bob, hit him again. Alright, anyone else here want to take a shot at the orphanage? Anyone? No? And that is why you always invest in big guns. 
Well, there's nothing ever quite like, like, multi-compartmentalized, spreading, disengaging, exploding, multi-cluster bomb rocket things to make your day. They're getting more and more, like, instruction intensive to the point where you have to read a small encyclopedia on how to use it. But when you use it correctly, it's amazing. So over here, we have this rocket. It shoots 90 of these glorious little pods of awesome that break up into a bajillion little smaller bombs that blow up everything in its path. Now, what you gotta do in order to utilize this thing correctly is first you gotta go ahead and line it on up let's say you have a, a wayward city that's in the way and you just need to get it out okay you prepare it like that then the next thing you gotta do is fire your weaponry into the sky oh, let it a little bit higher maybe right about there fire your weaponry into the sky there she goes now once you're at your height that you like then you've got to release the chunklets right here. I'm doing this so that you can see the chunklets release. Then you've got to spread your thing of dues. Then you've got to activate the secondary thing. Then you've got to disengage. And then you've got to activate the multi cluster chunks. And then when you do all that, finally everything spreads into a giant, violent, like, flower of death with fire and brimstone everywhere. The shrapnel itself smashes into buildings, causing damage. Now, if you get it higher, you can get a bigger spread. The problem is, is that you get a little bit more arc and you have the potential to miss your target. All right, let's get this thing way up in the air. Here we go. So like this right here, there we go. Now, after you've done that for a while, release. Let's see, we can, we can be up here like this, by the way. Then we can go ahead and start spreading the rockets. Then we can activate the secondary chunklets. Then we can disconnect the rocket pieces. And then once we're satisfied, we can scatter the rockets. Now at this point, everything kind of like breaks apart in a giant nebula of destruction. Now like I said, it's kind of weird because it has a tendency to really maneuver itself through the air. Oh, it flies. Oh, well, we got the we got the train pretty bad. There was just nothing there to hit. So I released the cluster. The cluster is flying sideways, like really, really fast. It almost appears like it's gonna fly past most of the buildings. Never mind, it didn't fly past the buildings at all. In fact, it's destroying a lot of the buildings. A big portion of it flew past, but a lot of it just kind of stayed. Now that makes me wonder, could you shoot down a plane with a cluster bomb? Like that would be almost impossible, right? I think we should give this a shot. But first, we have to watch as all the buildings crash to the ground. Okay, in the background, if you can see it, <laughs> I have fired the rocket. There is a plane that is flying, sort of. It's actually probably going to crash into a building. I don't know if I can swap over to this thing and try and lift it up. Trying to shoot down this particular plane, it is a uh, realistic crash style of plane. You can see as the wings get sheared from the fuselage. I wanted to utilize this. You know what? We probably actually can still utilize it. Here. There you go. Now we've got the plane in there. That's one way to make it happen. It is kind of working. All of the giant chunklets of firepower are just flying through the air. Somehow quite a few of them are missing this thing. Some are bouncing off of the wings, not exploding somehow, but whatever. The entirety of Bricksville is going down in a giant firestorm of pain. And really the, the plane itself appears to be okay for the most part. I mean, other than the fact that it's going to crash into the ground and be somewhat sad because of that, it still looks mostly all right. So yeah, you can throw a mortar at it, but it really doesn't do a ton. Okay, now there's a lot of stuff hitting the plane. Now I think we've got more of a direct hit that you can expect if somehow you manage to line up the destruction appropriately. Yeah, there's almost nothing left of the plane. The little nose there where the pilot might be is the only piece that's even sort of in one chunk. Now, the housing district kind of had to pay the price for this. But, you know, this giant, all of Bricksville's a giant testing facility. Everyone here that buys property knows exactly what they're getting into. They can either go here or they can have a slightly more stable life over in Bricksburg. But if you go to live over in Bricksburg, there ain't no water zero. All right. It's time to see if bigger is better. Look at this. Now, you're a baller when you can afford a yacht, but you're beyond baller status when you're cruising around in a hover yacht. Yes, a hover yacht. Now, I wanted to see if giant missiles 
could take down this hover yacht. We've had a lot of cluster style bombs recently and small little missiles that shoot a ton of them. But whatever happened to gigantic, ridiculous sized missiles? Do they still pack a punch? Let's find out and see if we can take this thing down. But before we do, let's go inside and take a look at all the various objects in here, like the humidity control and the, the boy, the act, the auto buoyancy and the light detection. See, I don't even, I don't even need to move through this thing because it's flying on its own. So it's kind of like giving you a tour without me having to really do anything. Oh, wow, there's a giant television and a, a women and men's room right up in here. We're kind of inside of it. In the places that you should never be. We're in the women's room right now. Well, as a, as a guy, I'm in the women's room right now, I guess. But we're just inspecting it, okay? Don't do this. Now, supposedly this thing has like auto crash detection. So it'll fly, and it'll like dodge stuff on its own. That's pretty amazing. All right, the yacht's coming at us. Never mind, the yacht just decided to take a nosedive into the ground. I'm not really sure what happened. Okay, the yacht is annoyed. The yacht is starting to lose like the spinny pieces now. It's it's resting on a house. I, I, it's, it has beached itself on this tiny residential home. I'm not sure why. Okay, we got it moving forward again. Okay, yacht. It's time to say your prayers. So I think you you open the thingy here, like 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 this, like this, and then all you have to do is fire this thing, and then you're good to go. Okay, it's totally possible that we may have needed to arc this thing up a little bit more, but man, it fires straight as an arrow. If we can get it arced a little bit more, I think we're gonna be perfect. How big's the explosion? Ah, uh, it's not too bad. It's actually ricocheting off the ground. Oh, this is interesting. It's still going forward. It may end up hitting the yacht. I was totally wrong. Come on, baby. Do it. Do it. Do it. Hit the yacht. Hit the yacht. Do it! Oh, wow. It didn't explode. It just hit the yacht. Like, forcefully hit the yacht and made it do a full flip. I mean, I guess that's still good. Oh, the yacht's spinning all over the place. Okay, now the yacht is possessed by Satan. Now a piece of the yacht is annoyed. Now the yacht's beginning to do the Watusi. Now it is flipping all over. Hold on, we gotta check this out over here. What sort of what sort of polka dance is happening over here by the yacht? I think the yacht's done. The yacht is done. Okay. The rocket cometh. The rocket may be arced a little bit too high. I think that the rocket is gonna go flying into the stratosphere. Oh wait, the, the rocket's starting to arc downward. Oh please. All you have to do is kiss the top of that yacht. That yacht is looking at you sideways. It's calling your mom all sorts of undignified things. No, the rocket's just barely gonna miss. All right, we're getting closer. The rocket is now getting very close. That was the explosion. Here comes the shrapnel. Just barely misses the, the yacht. How could this happen? I'm gonna turn this thing sideways. Oh, never mind. It's still got a building really good. All right, rocket is inbound. Arc is looking okay. Again, it may bounce. Wow, this thing really gets some height eventually. Yeah, we're gonna have to arc it even further. It's gonna bounce off the ground. Will the explosion give it a little bit of a kick in the underside? There's a lot of fire. No, nothing. Rocket skips underneath. That's actually kind of impressive in its own right. The rocket went underneath the yacht. Look at how close this is gonna be. At this point, it's like a millimeter away from hitting. It's like, it's like its own challenge. The skip the rocket underneath the yacht challenge. All right, when in doubt, you know what Gray always does get closer. Fire the rocket for the love of all that's holy. Okay, you beautiful yacht beast. All you have to do is just raise yourself up ever so- oh, this is gonna be perfect. Wait a second. Are you serious? Are you serious right now? Are you serious? Look at this! It was like six inches! Six inches of a miss! Wow, it actually did get some damage on the underside from the explosion. Oh, it blasted the entire uh, rear end of the uh, of the hovers. Do you have any clue how insane this is? Oh, I hit the <laughs> I hit the antenna in the front. Oh wow! I thought I was gonna go over the yacht and it hits like the smallest part of the yacht possible. Oh, look at it float! It's still floating from the shock wave. It's staying up in the air. This thing's incredible. It's right. It it refuses to crash even though it got hit so hard. 
it's still up and in the air. Now, what happens when it hits the mountain here? Will it like careen up the mountain without striking the mountain? Will it continue to like have better cushions of air? But it totally does. Look at that. It arcs its way up. All right, it touched the mountain a little bit, but that wasn't that bad. So it's not too often that you have like incredible speed with ridiculous firepower. That's what we have here. L let me give you an idea of exactly how this works. See, first off, you can do as many donuts as you please because it's got the ridiculous horsepower, right? But let's say you're going straight ahead, okay? And let's say over on your left there, there's some would-be scumbag explosives. All you have to do is slam on the parking brake, skid into your issue, and then it hit the explosive volley and it shoots a gigantic wave of pain. At the end of this runway is a yacht. The question is, can we destroy the yacht before we crash into the yacht? All right, here we go. We're going. Right about here, I'm gonna start firing. Now, I don't even know if these if these projectiles can reach that yacht yet. No, they can't, not at all. Oh God, I'm starting to lose it a little bit. We are moving very, very quickly right now. Now this one, we may hit some yacht fire chunklets right now. You're gonna notice that every time we fire, there's a blast of, uh, of exhaust that comes out to try and right us. Oh my God, driving this thing in slow motion is almost impossible because it wants to skid all freaking all over the place. Oh no. Okay, I'm, we're, we're fine, we're fine. We're, ba we're back on the road. Well, the, never mind. we are not on the roadway. We are currently rolling. We're rolling real bad right now. Oh, we may land right on our wheels. Like it's no big deal. Now, if you fire right now, will it level us out, I wonder? Hold on, let me just go ahead and uh, catch myself over here. I'm not sure what happens when the guns blow up. I imagine this thing's gonna get real sad real fast. We are still in the air. I'm not sure where the thing's, like, aerial, aerodynamic buoyancy is coming from. If it goes straight enough, I'll fire another shot. I just don't really think it will. Oh, my God. All right, hold on, hold on. We're almost there, we're almost there. Nope, we're not gonna do it. Now... From the sheer power of the, uh, of the speed, it sent the yacht flying into the stratosphere, which is pretty good. And now the yacht comes down hard. All right, forget about slow-mo. Let's do this full speed. Well, mostly full speed. Okay, start firing. That didn't work at all. Start firing. Come on. Blow. 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 Get out of the way! Oh my god. Oh, the game is the game is sad right now. The game is so sad. You have no idea. We may actually blow our way through the yacht. Come on. Through all the fire. Through all the brimstone. Did we make it? Is there is there still pieces of the yacht left? There is. No, there was almost nothing left. We almost made it completely. We kind of made it completely through. Like the car is still functional, I guess. Let's see what can it land it? Totally landed it, and off it goes. That right there is a successful challenge done. All right, let's see if we can blow through the orphanage tower because I'm a masochist, and I want to see if this works. All right, start firing. We should get some... We got some hits in for sure. Looking good. Come on, clear out of the way, clear out of the way. Oh, Lord. I don't know if we're going to be able to plow through the midsection of this thing. That was a beautiful hit right in the middle, though. It drove the entire tower off its axis. And... Did we land it? Totally landed it! There you go! And once again, the Rolls Royce of satanic firepower drives off into the sunset. This thing's like a tank. Like, I can't believe how well this thing holds together. Hey, anyway, that's going to be it for this episode of Brick Rigs. Just to let you know, uh, we're not responsible if the shock rounder crashes your game or annihilates something unintended. Hey, folks, until the next time, stay foxy and much love.